Hey, what's going on my Leo people? This is your monthly forecast for the month of May 2016 with moi. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys really quickly that this is a general horoscope for anybody who was born with their sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign in the sign of Leo. And if you would like any type of personalized forecast, reading, anything of that sort, where you would like me to give you some insight um, from what I see in my view, my vision for you, you can email me and my email address is in the description box and I will let you know all the details of how to schedule a reading with me. All right, with that being said, let's get to your May forecast. So my Leo people, and forgive me if I sound a little blah um, under the weather today, but like a typical Taurus, I'm still plugging along <laughs> and getting work done. But for May, for you guys, it's all about career. Career is going to be such a huge focus for you because in your career house is the sign of Taurus. And we have an abundance of planets and activity hanging out in the sign of Taurus. So let's explain in detail. Well, we have the sun there in Taurus until about the 20th of the month. We have Venus there until about the 24th. We also have Mercury there pretty much the whole month and it's in retrograde. And also we have a new moon happening there on the 6th of May. So just to go through it very quickly, wherever the sun is, it's, it's shining a big flashlight in that area of your life, in a spotlight. So if any of my Leos are trying to move up in regards to career, in the career sphere, in the career world, May is the time to take action. I would be careful because of the fact that Mercury is retrograde there the whole month. I mean, it's going to go direct again and into shadow period around the 22nd, but that shadow period is going to last till about the first, second week of June. So pretty much you're going to have a Mercury retrograde in your career house the whole month of May. And what this means for you is you can have actually on the good side opportunities that you didn't have before in career or maybe you applied for a position, you didn't get it, and now when Mercury's retrograde, that opportunity comes back to you. What I would advise you of, though, is to just make sure you read all the fine print and make sure you understand all of the job description and that it actually fits you and is something that you can perform to your best ability. Now, my Leo people are usually very super confident and they feel like they can do and accomplish anything, and that is such an awesome trait to have. So. You guys are normally the go-getters. If there's a goal that you seek out, you know, that you, that you see that you want, you go after it with confidence. So I, I feel pretty good about career for you guys this month, especially because the new moon is going to be in Taurus at 16 degrees Taurus on May 6th in your career house. So the new moon brings new beginnings. And there are some positive aspects that the new moon is making to other planets that are helping to boost you in this area. Now those two other planets are also in retrograde. So because of that, you know, like I said, I would be keenly aware of the opportunities that come up and make sure you read all the fine print and you understand very clearly what exactly is going on, especially because uh, the planets that the new moon are at, is aspecting are Jupiter, which is in Virgo, which is your second house of earned income. And Jupiter rules expansion, right? It's, it's, so it can have an opportunity to expand your earned income, you know, whether it's a second job or whether it's a career that you are trying to advance in, um, there is an opportunity for expansion. And then Pluto is in your sixth house of work environment. So Pluto represents really deep, profound transformation. I'm talking about like life and death transformation. I'm talking about like going down underground and then rising back up a fresh and brand new person that people hardly even recognize. So what this tells me, since all of your workhouses are highlighted, um, that this new moon is, you know, ha it has a great chance of bringing something fresh and new in regards to career. Um, but just make sure there's a clear understanding of everything. And I really hope for the best for you with your changes in career, Leo. So look forward to that and take advantage of it in the most positive way possible. With Venus already being in your career house up until the 24th of the month, you know, Venus is a very uh, beneficial and supporting player when it comes to your career right now. So Venus represents female figures, okay, or feminine figures. So if you're in a, a, a career that is feminine, you know, it involves feminine things like makeup or hair, beauty, um, anything that's considered Venusian, like 
um, anything aesthetically pleasing, even design or things like that. Um, it doesn't have to be like girly. It can be, you know, you're a graphic designer for an example, or you create art, any type of art, even music. Venus is there to support you, to give you a little boost in your career. And this can play out in regards to career with actual people, Venusian people or women, you know, giving you a little boost and helping you out. So this is another indicator that this is a great time for change and transformation in career, but it's not a, a scary one. You know, if you take advantage of it in a positive way, it can definitely work out for you, Leo. So best of luck to you with that. On the 20th, the sun moves into Gemini and on the 24th, Venus moves into Gemini. So they're going to be hanging out together in your 11th house of friendships and like-minded groups and organizations and just groups of people that you communicate with. Um, it can mean friends, but it can also mean like groups on Facebook or, you know, any groups of like-minded people that you belong to where you guys share the same interests or beliefs. So these two planets are very, very positive and giving you a little boost there as well. Um, the 11th house is also said to be the house of like achievements and gains. Like the 10th house is like your career, like you've achieved a social status, right? A high social status. And then the gains that are received from that are represented by the 11th house. So it could be that you advance in career and because of that, you belong to now this great group that you've always wanted to belong to when the 11th house energy um, makes that shift after the 20th. So some great achievements can be made this month, Leo. Um, good for you there. But if it's not in regards to career or anything, it could be that you just join some great new groups on the internet, you know, and you're well accepted and well received there. Or maybe just hanging out with your friends a little bit more. It can be so simple as that too. So you may get calls from friends wanting to, you know, enjoy your company and wanting to chat it up about things that you have similar things in common um, with each other with. So um, yeah, just be aware of that, that the energy is going to shift some towards the end of the month to groups and friends. So the other big emphasis for you, Leo, in the month of May is your fifth house. Your fifth house is in the sign of Sagittarius. And this rules any type of activities that you participate in that really mean something close to heart, right? That can be very creative things, anything that you create. And um, the fifth house is a Leo house. It's a Leo energy because Leos, you guys are the fifth sign on the zodiac wheel. So anytime there are planets in Sagittarius, that is going to bring out more Leo type of uh, themes in your life and feelings within you. And Leo and the fifth house rule the heart chakra. So anything that really gets your heart going and pumped up with joy and feeling like you are really enjoying life like to the fullest extent, okay? And Leos, you guys are lovers of children, generally speaking about your sign. Usually lovers of children and of like having childlike fun in life is Leo. So. We have Mars there and we have Saturn there and we have a full moon there at the end of the month. Mars and Saturn are both retrograde. So Mars and Saturn are two planets that require you to work very hard. Mars is physical drive and physical hard work. And Saturn is like lessons and teaching and learning like on a really high scale. You know, it's, it's a type of strict teacher that you have that is like, a, um, like an old, you know, old school teacher that wants you to do everything step by step by the book. And when he goes retrograde, he's like giving you an exam of everything that he's been trying to teach you while he's been hanging out in that area of your life. So you may have to go back over some things, but Mars there is going to help you to go back over those things um, physically. You know, if it's a, maybe a sport or an activity that you're involved in, and maybe the retrograde motion is gonna make you slow down a little bit with those activities and really go within to practice more, to practice, 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 to make perfect and perfect your craft. You know, this can be in sports or anything creative or even your own business that you create from scratch, from the heart that you are passionate about. So these two planets are making you go back over those things and maybe look at things and make some decisions before moving forward. Are you in the type of business that you really, really want to be in that really fulfills your heart's desires or the type of creative activity. If you have been working on a long-term creative project, is it really true to you and true to your heart? Or have you been really, really putting your heart into it, Leo, um, to the fullest extent? Have you been doing that? If not, well, what are some ways that you can correct and fix that? 
That's what Saturn and Mars retrograde are calling you to do and helping you to do. Um, also, the fifth house is children, as I mentioned, and this can be that your children, you know, maybe the way that you parent them or maybe some things that they might be going through are going to come back up again to the surface and have to be addressed again and have the problems fixed and adjusted, you know. So maybe your kids, just uh, being completely honest, Leo, maybe your kids could be acting a little unruly and... Um, Maybe you fixed the problem or you thought you fixed the problem before, but now that the retrograde planets are in motion, it's like a problem's coming up again, you know? So you have to address it again and maybe start putting your foot down a little bit more with the kids, Leo. I know you guys love being childlike and playful and fun with your kids, but this is a time where you may have to get a little bit serious, just being honest. On the 21st, we have a full moon in this fifth house in Sagittarius. So full moons bring things to a final decision or a close. So. Um, whatever it is that you've been working on, whether it's kids, creative projects, business, even casual romantic relationships, you know, that all is also represented by the fifth house. Anything that you have had to go back over again in those areas, the full moon will help you to come to a final conclusion as far as what you want to do to move forward in order to make these things work out with your kids or your creative projects or business or dating, you know, any of those things. So the full moon is going to highlight those around the 21st. So Mars continues to go through the sign of Sagittarius retrograde up until the 26th of May when he will go back into Scorpio. And Scorpio rules your fourth house of home and family, Leo. So I would definitely, I, I can definitely see children coming up, you know, because the fifth house is children, the fourth house is family. So issues with children will definitely need to come back up again if you have children. Or if you're trying to plan out, you know, having children, if you don't have any already, um, this can definitely come up again. And uh, Mars retrograde, you know, Mars is a little bit of a harsh energy, to be honest. And he really challenges you physically, you know, and, and in a lot of ways to, to initiate things and to take action. And as a Leo, you're an action and initiative type of sign, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you to deal with whatever Mars retrograde brings back up again um, in regards to family and your home. Maybe you do have some things that need to be fixed around your physical home. Maybe you thought you fixed it when Mars was going forward in Scorpio during the first quarter of 2016, but now it's retrograde and these problems are coming back up again to be fixed. So these are possibilities and Mars will be retrograde and in the sign of Scorpio. Um, until well Mars will be retrograde in Scorpio until June and then in August 2nd it'll get out of Scorpio and move back into Sagittarius which is your fifth house so for a couple of months you're gonna have an emphasis on your physical home or your family again Leo so just be mindful of that with Mars retrograde but it gives you an opportunity to fix things again and you know move forward with your life in the next couple of months all right, Leo, so that wraps up the month of May for you guys. I really hope that this was insightful for you and helpful in some sort of way. And uh, remember, if you would like me to look at anything personal for you, I would love to. And shoot me an email. It's in my description box. And I will give you guys the information in return of how to pay for your reading. And we can get something scheduled, all right? Well, take care, you guys. Um, enjoy your month. And I will see you guys in June. Love you guys.